Center 23, Shaw Eye Center, and South Texas College proudly present a culinary showdown for the finest cooks in the RGV. The winner of this delicious contest wins a three-night culinary and cultural escape for two to New York City with chauffeured airport pickup and return, a deluxe king-size room, hands-on cooking lessons with renowned chef instructors, a foodie tour, a chef's tasting dinner at Mario Batali's restaurant, and tickets to a Broadway show. Each week, contestants will face off in the STC kitchen until there's only one master of cuisine. This is Valley's next famous chef. Good evening, I'm Laura Erika. And I'm Albert Sanchez. And we're here to find out who will be the Valley's next famous chef. We have five contestants and four of them will be eliminated. Let's meet our cooks. Stepping up to the plate first is Joel Rivera from Edinburgh. He's a single 22-year-old who lives at home with mom, dad, little brother, and a pug who he calls son. Tonight, he's cooking a chipotle chicken and bacon pizza. Up next is Cynthia Gonzalez from Brownsville. She loves to garden and travel and hopes her chicken enchiladas, Suizas, send her packing straight into the final. Coming to us from far is Gabriel Fuentes a family man who enjoys spending time with his kids. Tonight, he's preparing a family favorite, chicken medallions with garlic mashed potatoes. Next is 21-year-old Vanity Herrera, an SEC student who enjoys rock music and cooking. Her friends call her Van. Let's hope the judges don't ban her from the competition with her chicken pasta. And last but not least is Enrique Estorga from Alamo. He's a salesperson, photographer, husband, and father of two, who hopes to guarantee a spot in the final with his apple chicken. Contestants, are you ready? Yes. yes. Let's get cooking. Today's contestants are all cooking chicken recipes. They have one hour to cook and plate. There's no time to waste, so they need to use their time wisely. Our first cook is Cynthia Gonzalez. She will be cooking chicken enchilada suizas. But these aren't your average enchiladas. She's using a vast variety of spices, broth, black beans, and white rice. Where did you get this recipe from? Trying to eat healthier. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this was one way to still be able to uh, eat a traditional Mexican plate, but cut some of the calorie out, and it's really light and delicious. You don't have to lose some flavor just because you're eating healthy. Making a lot of noise. What's going on over here? Uh, we're just in the and checking out a little bit. Okay. What are you uh, What are you going to be cooking today? Uh, medallones, the chicken medallions over a garlic mash. That sounds delicious. Do you cook this often? Is yeah. this one of the? My little girls love it. Oh, you cook this for your daughters all. Well. That's awesome. Well. Gabriel looks pretty focused. I'll move away and let him continue with his smash hit. Up next, meet Vanity Herrera. She will be cooking chicken pasta for the judges today. And we have Vanity chopping some onion. Vanity, is that going to make you cry? No, it's not. I am preparing the onion for the, for the sauce. Perfect. What kind of sauce are you making? I'm going to make a simple marinara sauce, but add a little roasted bell pepper <gasps> on the, the stove. Wow. With direct fire. That always yes. opens up the flavors of all your ingredients. Roasting or toasting. That sounds delicious. And I see you have some pine nuts as well. Yes. I'm going to be making a pesto. Pesto. Okay. Can't wait. We're getting beautiful ideas for home. Gabriel, you're getting your potatoes ready. What yeah. kind of potato is that? It's a red potato. It, it takes the butter better, I think. And I like a lot of butter in my cooking. Oh, yes. Butter's always good. Yes, it's my favorite food. And with butter? Oh, yeah. It turns out delicious. We'll see you in a minute, Gabriel. Thank yeah. you. Enrique, tell us a little bit about your dish, please. Well, it's actually a dish that I made uh, for my wife. It uh, just pretty much uses condensed apple juice and uh, mixes it a little bit with some marinated uh, chicken, and it comes real sweet. It just uh, reminds me of like an Asian-themed dish, and that's what I'm going to try to aim for. When I plate it, it should look like se several layers of food with the rice bean on the outside, the vegetables in the middle, and the chicken as the centerpiece. 
Amazing, definitely very Asian. We'll be back and see how you're doing. Hi, Joel. Can you tell me a little bit of what you're doing right there um, with? I'm just uh, getting some parsley leaves off their stems, and I'm going to be making my pasta sauce. Uh, it's going to be a pesto with pecans, and it's going to be the sauce on my uh, French bread loaf over there. And you have some bacon here. What's the bacon going to be used for? That's just another delicious topping for the pizza. I'm getting bacon. hungry. I smell bacon. Don't do that. <laughs> it's bacon. I love bacon. Oh, come on. <laughs> the cooks tonight seem to be having everything under control, but our show commentator, Chef Jennifer Higuera, has been watching every move they take. She's the expert at South Texas College. Here's what she has noticed so far. I smell the delicious smell of bacon in that kitchen, but just a few minutes passed and that delicious smell started to smell a little bit burnt. And when I walked around the kitchen, yes, my nose was right. It looks like we had some burnt bacon over there on Joel's station. Oh, that doesn't really affect his end product, but it's going to be hard to get away with that one. It looks like Enrique's really kind of overcooking those veg in, in an attempt to pre-cook them for a saute application at the end. It might really affect his presentation in the end if those colors start to muddle up. But again, it's all going to have to depend on what happens in those final moments of plating. I love Vanity's knife skills. She's really got a nice even cut going on there. It's going to really affect that end product. Everything should come to a close all at the same time. Really hoping that turns out well for her. Thanks, Chef Jennifer. We'll be back with more. Valley's next famous chef. Stay tuned to New Center 23. We're serving more Valley's next famous chef. Brought to you by Shaw Eye Center and South Texas College.